Hi. Hi, Nova. We're ready to learn about Yu-Gi-Oh news. Incredible, you know what? I think I'm ready to too. Perfect, it's a bit of a shorter one this week. Not super loads happening across the Yu-Gi-Oh, but there is stuff happening. Before you do anything, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. What the fuck are you waiting for? You get Yu-Gi-Oh news, you get progression series, you get the How Broken Is series, you got new series is on the way, you got deck profiles on the way, you got all the good shit on the way. So press the fucking subscribe button already and be part of the first 10,000 original Cardinal Sinners because once we're past 10,000, you're not originals anymore. You're the second generation of Cardinal Sinners. Wild. Don't be second edition, be first edition. <laughs> How did Konami mess with the satellite this week? You know, that's really funny, you would say. So funny. I could not possibly imagine Konami <laughs> fucking with the satellite any more than they already have. But here we are. Welcome to Attention Duelist, where me and Golden Nova catch you up on everything happening across Yu Gi Oh! this week. Uh, yeah, how will the satellite be punished? Who would have thunk it? We can get straight into this. Chat seems eager, so let's do it. We're moving over to Master Duel straight off the bat because a new solo gate has dropped in Master Duel. It is the Creatures of Naturia Forest and it's available to complete in the solo section of the game. You can play through the gate to learn the lore of Naturia and earn yourself some cool rewards, including Naturia Leo Drake icon, Naturia Leo Drake sleeves, a Leo Drake mains icon frame, a Naturia Cosmo Beat mate, and the usual 200 gems, tickets, and elemental orbs. So get yourself over to the solo gate and do it. What I do find hilarious is just how deadpan the stare of Naturia Leo Gate is, like Leo Drake is, you know? He's he's just got that stare. I think this is original art too. I don't think this is from literally any card. They made him look like this. I've got to admit, like, I don't know what it is, but I've just got this condescending father looking at me who's like, I'm unimpressed with your decisions. In the, like, side right, we've got, like, the little tiger one looking like the mother that's disappointed in you but sympathetic because daddy's going too hard on your ass. And then you've got your sibling looking away in disgust, like, I can't believe you did this. So you've, um... So you've grown up to be an effect monster, huh? <laughs> Look, I didn't want to have to pull rank on you, kiddo, but as your father, do you really want to be affected by cards like Fiendish Chain? I know you don't. Come on. Get back to the full. Look at look at Blue Eyes White Dragon. What a wonderful guy, and they don't have an effect. Great guy, best friends with that guy, go to the pub for drinks with that guy all the time, and he's fine. He does yeah. look so... I don't know what it is, but that fucking... Ah, oh, just the frame and that card's face. I, that, that icon and frame just together is just so funny. It's so deadpan unimpressed with you. I, I love it so much. I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> just everything about it just... I hate it. I hate it so much. So there's a solo gate to play through. I'm gonna the worst thing is I'm gonna have to play through it. Maybe maybe I'll play Naturia at some point, chat. Maybe I'll play the janky assness that is Naturia. Hey. But speaking of Master Duel and Doom having things happen to archetypes she's been known to play, no, but we've had a ban list update. Do you wanna lay all the facts on us for that? I sure do. Master Duel dropped a brand new ban list and the eyes are rolling once more. On the forbidden list, we have Hot Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity going straight from three copies to zero. In Limited Zone, Wanted, Seeker of Sinful Spoils, and Snake Eye Ash both went from two copies to one. In the semi-limited slot, Sprite Jet is going up from one copy to two. And in the Unlimited Zone, we are fully unlocking copies of Sky Striker Mobilized Engage, Perform of Pal Monkey Board, Rite of Aramis here, and Blackwing Steam the Cloak. Konami continues to skirt around the problem with Snake Eyes by hitting the copies of Ash and Wanted, but refusing to ban any cards. And the community are still unhappy about this. On a side note, they took a page out of Ghoul Academy's book and got rid of Hot Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity. Players are speculating that this is for the new archetype Sinsure Ion to drop in Master Duel soon. I know that a red, like a red dragon archfiend card getting hit might seem like it's the end of the world to me, but I requested that card be banned in my own tournaments over a month ago. So you can tell me I already knew this card was a fucking problem. Oh yeah, a card that just says, hey, you shouldn't play the game, uh, probably shouldn't exist. 
Yes, and the fact that people figured out how to do it on their opponent's turn, so just floodgated them on their turn, was not great. So I'm not actually sad to see Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend, King Calamity go. I don't like that card. Yeah, um, I don't know why we keep insisting on having these cards in the game. Uh, like, this is still legal in pay for play, if I remember correctly, so... Uh, Master Duel recognizes that it's not fun, so what's, um... What's the deal, devs? What's no, on there? no one's playing Red Dragon Archfiend in the TCG, Nova. Oh, they're playing Censure Ion in the, in the TCG. Yeah, but I... Just go hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah. Take that Calamity, ruin the opponent's turn. Mm. You're right, but I'm not sad to see it go. You, you can take it. You can get rid of it. Let's go. Sky Strikers are free with their engage. They're, they're back with their little old engage. That's all good. And Snake Eyes, I, I, I don't play ranked. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I don't touch ranked with a barge pole. You can't make me. I'd rather just do a duel room and not have to suffer that. Last thing to say for you guys in Master Duel is over in North America. Oh, that's right, satellites. North America only again. We've got the Remote Duel main series events happening the 15th to 16th of June. Participants in the event can earn themselves exclusive prizes like a Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus Sky Thunder playmat, a set of card sleeves, and a Rescue Rabbit plush. The Master Duel event is specific specifically happening on the 16th of June, starting at 11 a.m. MT. I don't know what MT is. Mountain time? Mm, well, I'd love to tell you, but you're from the, you're from the satellite, not the top, so. Main time? I'm not, really at, I'm not really at leisure to give you such privileged information. Okay, <laughs> okay, but chat, what the fuck is MT time? Mountain time, main time, my time? Mountain time. Thank you, Probate. <laughs> Shout out to Probate for solving my horrors there. But yes, those of you in North America, fuck you, you new Domino City bastards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, 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 so good constantly, always. Yes. Uh, yeah, good luck to participants. Um, God, I want one of those rescue rabbit plushes so bad. Yeah, I want a rescue rabbit plush. I, but you know what I got? I got a black luster soldier, so that's pretty good. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. Fuck you guys in the new Domino City. I hate the satellite. The satellite sucks. Oh my god. Well, if you don't like it so much, maybe you should get rich and get out of there. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, TCG, you know what we love talking about? I'm not, I haven't had enough of it in my life just yet. How about some more infinite forbidden information, Nova? How about that? It'll just never end. Is the it more no you PTSD? Walk away from it, the more that you get to experience. It's just PTSD right there. There you go. Infinite forbidden's back again for like the fifth week running. Yeah, PTSD, post tournament, super duper. Mm. All right, uh, I've already used up all of my good words with the audience. The Infinite Forbidden premiere event is gonna be live on July 13th to the 14th of 2024. You can be entered into a draw to win exclusive prizes like this ultra rare copy of Millennium Ong, a normal spell card that has you showing five Forbidden One Monster cards in your hand at deck or face upon the field. Then special summon one, the unstoppable Exodia Incarnate from your extra deck. Then shuffling the face up monster cards you control into the deck except Exodia monster cards whose original levels are 10 or higher. And Millennium Monster cards. Also, you can't summon for the rest of the turn. And after for activation, shuffle this card into the deck instead of sending it to the grave. Ooh, wow. That that's only in America too. Don't feel like I'd get any of that. No, nope, that it's just for us. It's our <sighs> special little event yep. bonus that's not for anyone who's not in America. Yeah, building my door on it as we speak. Building that door on it. Don't worry, though. Nova's not done with cards today, chat. I told you the news is going to fly by today. We're moving straight to the OCG because there was not that much. So, Nova, what's going on in the OCG? Yeah, speaking of the Millennium cards, a brand new support card for Millennium and Waju archetypes has been unveiled in the Animation Chronicle 2024 set, releasing on the 22nd of June. That card is Grief Tablet 
and equip spell that is also treated as a Wuju card. The equipped monster cannot attack or be tributed, also its effects are negated. Now that sounds like something you would just slap on your opponent's monster to stun them, but once per turn, if you control the equipped monster, you can take a Wuju card from your deck and add it to your hand, except a copy of three tablets. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, because the equipped monster is destroyed, you can burn your opponent for 500 damage, and you can only activate one copy of this card per turn. Wowie. Exciting. Is that Lord of D on the artwork? That is, in fact, Lord of D. Uh, I believe being sealed into one of the stone tablets uh, to become one of Kaiba's monsters, but like priest Seto. Like old characters. Hey, Satellite did get one thing the tops didn't a ban on non official sac accessories. That's not good! Yeah, see? See, you got a little something special. We didn't get that. Wow, I sure do love the satellite and my plain colored play mat. Yeah. Boy, See, howdy. Like said, the choices have been made for you, so you don't have to worry about making the choices. That's, that's so great. That's so, so Thank great. You. you know, it's about time we got thanks for making mm. such great decisions. You know, it's the thankless job being the overlords of this capitalist hellscape. So I'm glad that you have given us a little bit of gratitude for once. Mm, mm, okay. Anyway, players at the Yu-Gi-Oh! Day <laughs> event in June 2024 will have a chance to obtain limited edition card sleeves that feature Chaz's recently announced Light and Darkness Dragon Lord. Yu-Gi-Oh! Day is a day for all to celebrate the Yu-Gi-Oh! brand, except you, Satellite, and create excitement for their brand at official tournament stores and to further distinguish the OTS stores from non-OTS stores. What? If you're around Japan, attend the Yu-Gi-Oh! Day event and pick yourself up some sleeve or buy them on eBay later on. I don't fuck it. I'm support. You know what? Fuck you, Konami. I'm supporting the secondhand market. Buy your shit off eBay. Fuck their shit. There we go. I mean, what? The satellites are rebelling. Viva la revolution! Mm. What Doom doesn't realize is that the complex economic ecosystem we find ourselves in means that we'll benefit no matter who does transactions because money is fun. Viva la revolution! Revolution! Rise up with and me, fellow satellites! Shout revolution in the chat! Revolution in the comments! Viva la revolution! We will show them that we are allowed cards! And make sure that you go check out Doom's website for revolution pins, t-shirts, <laughs> card sleeves, and don't worry that all of it is produced by my subsidiaries. That would be they would be silly to think that the ruling class would benefit from merchandising the revolution. That's silly. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a revolution flag and it's just me and uh, my flag is a playmat that's not official. It's just one of my own playmats. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, satellite. We're gonna get out of his satellite. We're gonna be okay. Revolution! Over to Duel Links. Uh, Cause Konami's still doing things. Duel Links just can't help giving you guys free stuff right now. Because right now, Duel Links is giving you a free structure deck if you log into Duel Links. This time it's for speed duels, because apparently Duel Links is separated into speed and rush now. You can get the structure deck EX, Sign It Raging, available at the store, and you get yourself one copy for free, giving you a nice starting ground for Link Monsters, as you get cards such as Sign It Mining, Decode Talker, Link Slayer, and Shooting Code Talker, Dra like Talker, I can read. Here's the cards, here's the deck. You can get a free deck, so log on to Duel Links and grab yourself some free decks, because there are two currently going around, so just grab yourself those decks. Does the satellite get this? Yes! The satellite is allowed this one. Oh, uh, wow, yeah, sign up mining is actually huge. What the heck? Yeah, it's pretty good. So you can get your own little structure deck, which is pretty good. So I would probably recommend logging into Duel Links if you can and just grabbing this. I think it's a good place to go. So there's that for you. As we mentioned for Master Duel, there is also a remote duel event happening for Speed Duels on Duel Links. This event is happening on the 15th of June, and players earn various prizes, such as a Don's Elude playmat, a Jinzo playmat, a Jinzo Field Center, and copies of Chase cards such as Bottomless Trap Hole, Book of Money, I mean Moon, mm. and Jinzo himself. Remember when Book of Moon was Book of Money in Duel Links? Man, those selection boxes are... Horrible. Funny. 
so, so funny. So, merch. Merch, hydrate first. Okay, here's what I got for you. The Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonists are coming soon as part of an adorable figure series by SK Japan. Look at them! Look at them! I need him! I need you say! I need you say, guys. Just sit on your desk, be all like, hello. I want him to be like, hello, I'm you say, I'm the one with the sexy voice and stuff. And I'll be like, oh my god, you're so cute! These chibi no, style sitting I'm not figures. Cute. <laughs> I'm sexy. I'm the, I've got the sexy scar upon my face. Yeah. 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 Call me cute again, I'll have to show you the true power of my deck. I do love Jack Atlas, but I ain't gonna not simp for you, so the guy's fucking beautiful. These chibi style sitting figures will be available in arcades from June 15th, 2024. So now I want to die. Also, uh, uh, also, question. Question that yeah, I'm seeing. Yeah. So they're uh -huh. six centimeters tall, right? Uh-huh. Why are they nine centimeters wide? Why are they really wide? Uh-huh, because they're little chunkies. <laughs> they're little chumbos. Are they little chunkies? Or are they fucking man-spreading on us? Oh, I mean, that. regardless of whatever their size are, the man-spreading is apparent. They are ma- I know, but I I need that you say. I that man spreading you say needs to be on my desk. Uh, we got it, folks. Once again, for all of our Japanese attention duelist fans, uh, our PO boxes are in the business email that we also have. I don't know, uh, but we want them, need them mm, now. Mm. You know Do how it. I threatened to stab someone? That someone did then offer to buy me the chaos figure. So I think that problem solved, and we're all stab free. Oh, so we have to threaten physical violence, is that it? I never said who I'd stab, just that I would. Yeah, they were just afraid that they would be randomly picked out <laughs> of the pool. Just the pull of doom stabbiness, who knows. That, uh, that makes it more effective, actually. Yeah, it, you, it, never you never know. You never know. It's gonna be you. You yeah. never know. Speaking of figures, speaking of figures, new images of the SH Monster Art Flame Wingman have surfaced along with more details. So let's check out this bad boy. He's gonna stand 7.5 inches tall and be pre audible from the 3rd of June 2024 for around 13,200 yen or $85, which is not bad being ready to be shipped out to people around october so you could get this guy this sexy guy who is poseable by the way look at this badass God, it's look so at him cool look at him yeah no it's uh it's not oh. bad for 85 bucks guys mm. Mm. that's that's pretty fucking good so, damn, he's also a spicy, sexy little boy. Wait, where's that better? He's a sexy, spicy little Yu-Gi-Oh monster. No, that, no, that I- That was a bad uh, sound. I, that was I bad. Like no, that was bad. That was bad. Uh, yeah, you're, no. you're, you're a sexy little hero, aren't you? Mm. No, no, it's getting weird. I don't like it. I'm moving on. <laughs> Starting on Monday, the 29th of May, exclusive Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 merch featuring brand new illustrations will be available at KC Store Japan. So we got a lovely acrylic art board. For some reason, it's Yuya and Declan. Who's... The best of friends. Uh, yep, yep, those guys, they love each other. Um, mm -hmm. Again, I technically Reiji Akaba, because we're in Japan, so it should be his Japanese name. Yuya Sakaki and Reiji Akaba. Um, see, when I don't have to see his terrible trousers, it's fine. When I have to see his trousers, it's kind of awkward. Wait, can we roll back? I forgot what his pants look like. Yeah. Okay, see, I'm okay with it up until I see that he's rolled them up to his shins. Yeah. Oh, you don't need to roll up your khakis, dude. You're you're rich. You can just have them tailored. Come on, man. Yeah, you're literally the Kuiper of that show, but, you know. Uh, you also get these cool little acrylic stands. I feel like these are really half-assed, I'm going to be honest. Uh, it does kind of look like they use the, you know how in the anime, the card art for the actual cards looks like one dimensional and washed out? Yeah. It looks like they used that for Rage's one. Uh, the it's what the ADD one, deserves. I think it looks fine. Uh, I'm not though, the biggest though. fan of these, um, but, and you could also get some stickers, so. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I like the stickers. 
Yeah, this is straight out the AliExpress. I'm kind of with you. This doesn't feel like official Yu-Gi-Oh merch. This feels like fans made some merch and put it on Etsy. That's what this feels like. Hmm. This do this just doesn't look that good. I'm not the biggest fan of these. I think the hard pouch is the best bit. And what are you keeping in the hard pouch, huh? What are you? Uh, my what do you deck? need to have two guys on your hard pouch for? Huh? My What's deck, up? obviously. Ooh, all right. My deck. Folks, this is attention duelist after dark. I have to put my deck in the dual case, obviously. Wow, that's a. Folks, I have to go change the uniform. So these ones suck. I don't think this merch is very good, personally, except for that one. That one's cool. Uh, this is 10 out of 10 in terms of merch. Absolutely must have. And these are adorable. Please bring them out. Bring them to satellite. Bring them to satellite. But that's what we have for you this week, chat. It's a very chill news week in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh. We don't have loads of cards being announced. We don't have any new product really to look at unless you want to go look at some rarity collection. Um, but I'm not buying rarity collection too. That shit's fucking expensive. Uh... But yes, uh, that, that was the news this week. There wasn't super lots of it. I do apologize for that, but don't you worry. Don't you worry. We'll be back on Saturday with our weekly tournament. It'll be Dual Academy. Um, I know that people will be watching Indie, but don't worry. You can watch both. You can watch both and see two different levels of play at play. Fire. My dreams won't die if I high five the sky. Spread my wings. Take off. It's time to fly. Take a chance to make it all the way. Take a chance for getting yesterday. Take a chance.